All right, guys. BLM here back with more FF16. It is nighttime now. Yeah, we're continuing on. Uh, it is 2 a.m. <laughs> uh, finish my Piranha's video. Um, so, yeah. That's kind of where we're at. Um, where the fuck am I going? Is it just at this gate? Oh, I guess it is. Cool. You! Those are Elwins! By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're yep. mistaken. Nope, you're wrong. Anyway, um, yeah, so it's night time. Um, works. Edited Perlion's video. That's done. And that would be um, true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. Yeah. The I guess that's kind of, yeah, that's really, yeah. Um, I may or may not play more of this tomorrow morning. Don't know. Uh, well, okay, so again, it's 2 a.m. now. Uh, I'll probably play like an hour or so here. We'll see. Um, then, yeah, I, I might uh, play some more of this tomorrow morning before I go to work. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. My bearers. But yeah, and then uh, I do stream tomorrow night. So tomorrow night we definitely won't be playing any. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised. And who the fuck you were? Yeah, there's a lot of deviations here, aren't there? This <laughs> area fell to the Empire, not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brek. The duchy was dissolved and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right. Lord Rosfield, bequeathed you by your late father, and by the American be better off serving right. you than hiding here. <laughs> Indeed, me, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master, not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Fine a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. 
relic of the fallen it is. Must have stood there a thousand years. And in all that time, no one's ever been inside. Mysterious, eh? He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the Blight took half the harvest. Oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer, either. Though I doubt he'd have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around, then. Thank you. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No. No sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Viceregen stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. I sure is. I, I had the mic off for most of that. God damn it. Whatever. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick. The chocobo keeper who might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on. Let's head for the stables. Why are we doing this though? Like, why do we give a shit about this mayor? Mm, where the Trouble bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. Ah, 
So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. Now. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? <sighs> this really just feels like an excuse to have more combat in the game. <laughs> it's like obviously it's gonna be like surrounded by enemies, right? God damn it, game. Or not. Or maybe so. Look. There's someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. Obviously. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. Who would have? Yeah. Okay, that looks janky as fuck. But okay. Um. Yeah, I've been reading up like a lot of the reception to this game, and like I'm kind of surprised at how mixed it is. Considering, like, I mean, obviously you get, like, all these critic scores, and, like, they're really, really high. I mean, like, the, the Metacritic's, what, 88% or whatever? God damn it. I hate the fucking Hornets in this game. Oh, god damn it. I, I hit it, but, like, just, like, a second too late. But, yeah, like, the, like, review scores for this game are really, really high. However, it's, like, it feels like the actual, like general reception is like kind of like like very mixed um which like i can get that from like especially like from like old school Final fantasy things i feel like i could definitely get that i'm kind of surprised the reception from like non Final fantasy fans is also kind of mixed um where i see a lot of people complaining about like how like linear the game is and whatnot and like how um, like story focused it is and whatnot. Which I'm a little bit surprised by that. Anyway. Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long. But you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Okay. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was his one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. 
damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half our worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. That was a pretty pointless fucking mission. I mean, I'm assuming like he's gonna come up again, obviously, but still, it's like fuck me, dude. Um, the Deadlands are aptly named. I didn't realize they were this close. No wonder their crops are failing. Oh, pfft, cool. The blight is leaching the ether from the soil. I'd either pick it up. When the last drop is drained, their fields will turn to this. No plants, mm. no animals, no life. And no monsters. I suppose that's one small mercy. We won't be able to use any magic here. Another thing to worry about. As if the absence of ether didn't cause enough problems. Take away the last life force, and problems are all that's left. I can hardly imagine what this place used to look like before the blood. Yeah, how is there not a run by in this game? It was beautiful. It is ridiculous there's not a run by in this game. Phoenix Gate Ruins. I just want to see something, actually. Is there nothing over here? Did we not get the map until we went to uh, the hideaway? I didn't pay attention to that. Do 
as if time had stood still. I suppose no one had any cause to return here. Well, it's just as I left it. What was the mission name? I missed it. Yeah, well, Could I have done this? Could anyone? Oh shit, it's like, okay, I didn't realize it was that massive. What the fuck? Dude, that's insane. He's the only one who can tell me what happened. I have to know. Where is he? Nowhere to be seen. Like a bloody eel. What is this place anyway? Some sort of shrine. Oh, sorry. You've never been here before. This is the Hall of the Gate. The Gate? It's a relic of the Fallen. Only the Phoenix's dominant can open it. Hence the castle's name. This was where Joshua was supposed to. Yes. He would have stepped through this door the next morning and listened to the words of our ancestors. Would you have gone with him? No. The Apollo tree is holy ground. None but the dominant may enter. I and the other shields would have stood guard here and prayed for my brother's safe return. Where the hell did he go? Perhaps he went inside. He couldn't have. He'd need the power of the Phoenix. Are you sure about this? Never more. Okay. <laughs> Hall of the Ants. 
lights on the stairs. Another gate. Let's see if this one opens. Yeah, I feel like I remember seeing a shot of this place before. It's in one of the perfect. reviews I've seen. Like it was built yesterday. Have you ever seen anything like this? Kevin, is there anything I haven't seen yet? Like on the footage? Like outside this? It's still relatively early on. Like we're still like only twenty something percent of the way through the game according to the guide and like this is mission what, like twenty out of sixty eight or whatever? More trouble. And yeah, these are more like, yeah, like robots. Must be what the fallen ruins were like before they fell. Do that much damage. Get him, boy. There, boy. Sick of Toggle. Where I came from, I I generally don't remember. I think this is where I came from, isn't it? I I can't tell. Is this where I came from or not? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Looks like he can take a beating. Then let's give it up. Don't let them get away. Get him, boy. Oh, fuck. I hate that. Get him, boy. Sick of talking. You know what to do, boy. Get him, boy. Get him. Get him, boy. 
That did a lot of damage as well. Get him, boy. Get him. God damn it, I keep on doing that. Well done, Toro. Does any of this make sense to you? None. Oh, it's man and leave. Okay. I think we'll end here. I'll do one more tonight. I'm already starting to get a bit tired, but yeah, we'll do one more tonight. Um, yeah. Next up, you on? No, thanks for watching.